Hi everyone, I'm Luca from the University of Milan. Hope you are enjoying the conference as I'm doing. I am going to present the reliability of Minion device in high quality genome assembly applied to a recently described cross kingdom pathogen. Everything starts with a European project called Uplant Control. This project is finalized to create a pan European network of scientists who study pathogens able to move from agricultural product to human. In particular, in our lab, we focus our attention on a specific cross kingdom pathogen that is the Fusarium muse and is firstly described in 2011. This pathogen was reported to be able to infect banana and humans, as we can see from these three pictures. The hypothesis of the transmission was done for the first time in 2017. And these hypotheses are based on the fact that the first infection occurred on banana and not on human. And then it spread around the world traveling with exported banana. On the 26th of April in NCBI database, 914 genomes were submitted, 31 of which were submitted at chromosome level. Only one of these was a telomere to telomere assembly and was the Fusarium graminearum PH1 strain. All the others as some unplaced context. Specifically in the Fusarium fujigurai species complex in which belongs the Fusarium muse, the best assembly is a chromosome level assembly of Fusarium verticilloides and is composed by, by more than 200 contigs. No chromosome level assembly is present for the Fusarium muse species. The only genome available is done using Illumina short reads and include, includes more than 1000 contigs. For this reason, we focused our attention on a Fusarium muse strain isolated from banana. The origin of this fruit was Dominican Republic, and we aimed to produce a good reference for the species, and we decided to use hybrid approach. To make a long story short, using the hybrid approach, we were able to produce a telomere to telomere chromosome level assembly of this strain. As we can see from the picture in which are annotated the telomeric region, all the chromosomes as the telomeric region except the chromosome 3. Highlighting the starting region of all the contig, it's possible to see that only the mitochondrial DNA doesn't have the telomeric region, of course. Key role in this result had the minion, whose read produced very contiguous assembly, which was then corrected with short Illumina reads. What makes us very excited, that is also the reason of why I'm presenting now, is the results obtained before short reads correction. Now, what we want to do is try to answer to the question, how long reads perform alone in order to obtain genome of the size of Fusarium muse? For long read data, we used the Minion device, which produced more than 2 million reads. These reads as at an average length of 4.8 kilobases. In these two table are reported on the left, the information about the experiment and on the right, the obtained result after base calling. Here are shown the two phases of the assembly. The first flowchart shows the assembly while the second is the workflow of the manual correction. Just two numbers to compare before and after manual correction to see what happened. The number of contig decreased very close to the real number, 13, which is the 12 chromosome and the mitochondrial DNA. Also, the number of closed chromosomes increased from 3 to 9. The closed chromosomes are chromosomes in which we find the telomeric region at both borders. Here there is the core slide of the work, the statistical analysis among different assembly. The table report on the first column, the NCBI strain obtained with short reads. The other three columns include data of our Fusarium muse, and there are in the second, the, the best short read assembly obtained by us. In the third, we have the long read assembly of this study, and on the fourth column, we have the hybrid assembly obtained by us. The first parameter on which I want to focus your attention is the completeness. We evaluated this uh, parameter using Busco and basing on Hippocreales database. As you can see, there are no significant differences. Uh, in this table, you can see the percentage of missing Busco, and as we can see, no significant differences, as I said. 
Another important parameter is the number of contigs. And as we can see, the long read based assembly produces very contiguous assembly compared with the short read based. And the long read based assembly allow also us to define a specific number of chromosomes. The second challenge after the assembly of the genome is to assemble the mitochondrial DNA using only long reads and also evaluate how many reads or base pair are needed to build a mitochondrial DNA. For the mitochondrial DNA assembly, the chosen tool was FLY that is able to detect and assembly automatically circular sequences. And the output was annotated using MFANOT online tool. These results were then compared with the reference created, created using short reads and novoplasty tool. The result of, of the comparison show 0.27% of differences in terms of basis, but this is not reflected in detected genes which result identical, as we can see from the table on the left. On the right, there, are, there is the annotated mitochondrial DNA obtained from long reads. Once the mitochondrial DNA was assembled, the last step was to investigate the minimum amount of bases needed to detect appropriately mitochondrial DNA. For this step, we tried the assembly using different percentage of reads. The results shown that the minimum amount of bases that led to 100% of success in mitochondrial DNA assembly was 110 megabases. This number corresponded to 1% of total reads and 16 per of coverage. These results suggest the possibility to assembly approximately 100, 100 mitochondrial DNA with similar sides using, of course, barcoding kit with a single mean ion run. And these open new applications for the use of mean ion in fungal population studies. To conclude, three main messages from this study. Minion proved to be a very friendly instrument that, that successfully led us to create a complete genome in a relative short time. The genome created can represent a valuable resource for the Fusarium community. We also showed that Minion alone can generate valuable results for completeness to assemble small fungal genomes. The possibility to detect and assemble mitochondrial DNA is another interesting feature of our result. For what concerns our future work, we will explore the genomes of a population of Fusarium muse to understand the diversity of the species and to functionally understand the mechanism related to virulence in the different hosts. Thanks for your attention.